And this comes to us from Down Under, and I don't mean Australia. Where's my pina colada? <laughs> How cool is that? Go Makes you want to go down. You're a diver, aren't you? You know, I like being out Above. of the water, like on top oh, really? of it, not in it. I'm the same way. Too many way. things in there. Yeah. So you, you like you. snorkeling? Yeah. Or no? Not, not even like, that. No, but if you're in the water a lot, What's well, going that brings on up a great issue for anybody who spends a lot of time in the water, especially diving mm -hmm. and scuba diving type of thing. Two things are going on. You have pressure that's pushing water inside into your nose and in turn pushing the water into your sinuses. Frontal sinus here, sphenoid sinus here. What happens is the combination of the water, the pressure, that water can get stuck in there. That sets you up for sinusitis. And what comes along with that? headaches, and all the other symptoms you may get. Let me show you what's going on here. So you get the water pushes in, inflammation gets pushed into those sinuses, and if you get swelling, the sinuses cannot drain. It's a breeding ground for bacteria. You end up with a sinusitis. So a couple things. If you're prone to that, Jim. Maybe just go surfing in one of these things here. Yep, Jim, you're going to help me. Nose plugs, if you're prone to, to getting a lot of water and, and stuff like this. <laughs> Headaches, and it may help your snoring too, Jim. Yeah, right, let's do this. But otherwise, try nasal decongestants. You may want to use sprays, you may want to use over the counter pills. You may have to go on antibiotics if you get a rip roaring mm -hmm. sinus infection. Be careful with flying if you oh, have a yeah. sinus infection, mm -hmm. and hurts. just uh, try to avoid them in the first place.